Holly Sparrow to all of our colleagues in Athens, Holly Mara to my colleagues in Washington and New York, and to all of those who have joined the call. Uh, we've had a huge uh, enrollment for this, and I'm so touched that the, we all are at the interest people have in this new opportunity to study in a remarkably open Greece. In the context of this new era, Greece is further opening up to the rest of the world in a variety of ways. One of the most prominent being through its education system. We are excited on behalf of the Department of State, Bureau of Educational and Cultural Affairs, to join you today to celebrate and encourage international academic partnerships between the United States and Greece. There's a lot of room for growth uh, of new partnerships between Greek and U.S. institutions. U.S. students definitely want to go to Greece. They are going to Greece. tremendous uh, pool of talent uh, and uh, um, a hidden value in our public universities and the first thing that we need to do is make sure that we open them up to the rest of the world. So if there were an Olympic medal for things like this, Greece would get the gold. And that according to recent data, the number of students choosing to study in Greece increased by 20% compared to the previous year. And what I wanted to underline to the wider group was just the unique moment that we've arrived at where we have this strong commitment both from the, 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 the American side of the Atlantic and from the Greek side uh, to maximize the number of students and scholars moving in both directions. already uh, from the from the president from the White House from the new leadership at the State Department and I know that education is going to remain a real featured aspect of that we are extremely pleased to see all of you here committed to making this program a success I'm going to present our partnering experience in the framework of IEPP Greece uh, uh, we have already built a partnership with New York University in the law discipline Okay, thanks, John. Um, so yes, I'm Lena Guado. I work in the Office for Education Abroad, which is our outbound uh, mobility office. Um, and so I'm going to give you a brief overview on some of those efforts. Um, good morning, Kalimera. Good afternoon, Kalispera. Um, Minister Kerameos, Your Excellency Ambassador Payat, um, Dr. Goodman, esteemed colleagues, Agapiti Sinadelfi, uh, Greetings from Illinois. Thank you, last but not least, <laughs> um, nice to see you all. My name is Lisa Velasquez from the University of Alabama. I'm in the College of Arts and Sciences and working with our Capstone International Center. Um, of course, COVID has impacted all of us, um, so we've been doing a lot trying to find uh, connections between universities. Hello, I'm George Tunis, the United States Ambassador to Greece. When we talked about the International Academic Partnership Program back in December of 2019, we never could have imagined we would one day be welcoming 30 American universities to Greece all at once. This is the Institute of International Education's largest American delegation to any single country in history. Everyone at the U.S. Embassy is so excited to see the Faro Summit come to life. This summit underscores Greece's importance as a destination for international education and underscores Greece's position as a partner of choice for the United States. We'll be having around 30 top American universities visiting us uh, in November in Greece. I'll be happy uh, to, to host you. The, we have a lot to offer and my vision is to really become a, a regional education center. And as American universities look to expand in our part of the world, you know, what better um, uh, destination than Greece? 